In this problem, we will compare the normal distribution to the student t distribution. Let's first ask ourselves why it's important to know the difference between these two distributions. To answer that, let's first consider the sampling, st sampling distribution of our sample mean x bar. When our parent population is normal or the sample size is greater than 30 by the central limit theorem, we know that x bar will be normal or approximately normal with mean mu and standard deviation sigma divided by square root of n. When we are doing tests of significance and we're testing a claim about the population mean mu, we always standardize x bar. We take x bar minus mu and we divide by the standard deviation of x bar and we know that this will have the standard normal random variable, a normal random variable with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. But what happens when we don't know the population standard deviation sigma? In that case, we have to estimate the population standard deviation sigma with the sample standard deviation s. The question is, does this new random variable have a normal distribution? The answer is no. It has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So if we are doing a test of significance on the population mean mu, depending on whether we know sigma or not, determines whether we are going to use a nor standard normal distribution or a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So let's use the calculator to look at some of the differences between these two distributions. First, we, want to, we are going to compare the standard normal random variable distribution to a t distribution with 1 degrees of freedom. Then we will compare the standard normal distribution with a t distribution with 2 degrees of freedom. And finally, we will compare the standard normal distribution to a t distribution with 30 degrees of freedom. Let's first just look at the window settings that we will use in our graph. We are going to graph x values from negative 6 up to 6, and we will the y axis will go up to 0.5. Let's go to the y equal button. How do we graph the standard normal distribution? We use the normal PDF function. Where is normal PDF located? It's under second vars number 1. We are graphing it for different values of x, specifically negative 6 to 6, and we are graphing the normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. We want to compare it to a t distribution, so we use the t PDF function. Where do we find t PDF? Same place we found normal PDF. Uh, under second vars, here it's number 4, t PDF. We want to graph it for different values of x, specifically negative 6 to 6, and we want to use 1 degree of freedom. So let's go ahead and graph it. The first graph that is being shown is our standard normal distribution. Notice there is very little area below negative 3 or above 3. The second graph that is going on is our t distribution with 1 degree of freedom. Notice that there is some area way out in negative 6 and all the way up to 6. Not very much, but there is some and virtually none for the normal 0, 1 distribution. And the t distribution with 1 degrees of freedom, there is less area in the middle and more area in the tails. A t distribution has heavier tails than a normal distribution. Now let's go and graph the standard normal versus a t distribution with 2 degrees of freedom. Let's hit graph. Again, the first graph is our standard normal random variable. Our second is the t distribution with 2 degrees of freedom. Again, the t distribution has heavier tails, but not quite as heavy as 1 degree of freedom. Has a little bit more area in the center of the distribution than the t with 1 degree of freedom. Okay. Now, let's go back and do our third graph we are, where we will compare the standard normal to a t distribution with 30 degrees of freedom. Let's go ahead and hit graph. Again, our standard normal distribution is graph followed by the t distribution with 30 degrees of freedom.
in this case, we see that the t distribution is almost identical to the normal distribution. So what should you get out of this? You should see that the t distribution is a symmetric distribution just like the normal distribution. We see that the t distribution has heavier tails. There's more area in the tails and less in the, and less in the center of the distribution as compared to the standard normal. And we see that as the sample size increases, the t distribution gets closer and closer to the normal distribution.